Welcome to this very special Sunday. My name is Hilary Chrisley, and I am the pastor of Glendora United Methodist Church. Each week we celebrate our life in Christ, centering our lives on the one who guides and directs us, loves and redeems us, and supports and strengthens us all. Our time in worship is being led by Boy Scout Troop 483. The Boy Scouting program at Glendora United Methodist Church is more than just an activity for our youth to learn about the outdoors. Scouting provides fun, fellowship, and training to our youth, as well as youth in our community. It emphasizes honesty, self-reliance, and respect. Through a year-round program, it affects character, citizenship, and personal fitness. The success of our scouting depends on our scouts, their families, and the many volunteers who serve in a variety of leadership roles so that our young people may benefit from our scouting ministry. We salute our Eagle Scouts and we thank the splendid volunteers who serve as Cub Masters, Scout Masters, and in other positions of leadership. Thank you, Scouts, for this special leadership with us today. You will find a PDF of the Order of Service in the video description section. And following the service, there's information about how to connect, to serve others, and to grow your faith. May this time of worship bring us all closer to one another and closer to God. Audience, please rise for the presentation of the colors. Uh, audience attention, color guard attention, color guard advance. Please face the American flag. All those in your form. We salute all those not uniformed place our hand over your heart and when we pledge allegiance, we're ready again. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please face the scout flag, signs, and honor. Be prepared. The Boy Scout Oath has traditionally been considered to have three promises. Those three promises are delineated by the semicolons in the oath, which divide it into three clauses. The three promises of the Scout Oath are, therefore, duty to God and country, duty to other people, and duty to self. Duty to God and country. Your family and religious leaders teach you to know and serve God. By following these teachings, you do your duty to God. Men and women of the past worked to make America great, and many gave their lives for their country. By being a good family member and a good citizen, by working for your country's good and obeying its laws, you do your duty to your country. Obeying the Scout law means living by its 12 points. Duty to other people. Many people need help. A cheery smile and a helping hand go a long way to making life easier for others. By doing a good turn daily and helping others when you're needed, you prove yourself a scout and do your part to make a better world.
Duty to self. Keeping yourself physically strong means taking care of your body. Eat the right foods and build your strength. Staying mentally awake means learn all you can. Be curious and ask questions. Being morally straight means to live your life with honesty, to be clean in your speech and actions, and to be a person of strong character. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty to God. It's hard to describe duty to God for any one person. This duty is based on a person's own religious teachings. Duty to God is different for people of different faiths. However, for all people, it means living according to the teachings of their religion. Membership in the Boy Scouts of America explicitly requires recognition of a supreme being, belief in God and respect for other scouts and scouters' belief in God is an expectation that has been repeatedly affirmed by the National Council of Boy Scouts of America. Whether the sponsor of a scouting unit is secular or religious, duty to God is a t basic tenet of our movement. We express it each time we recite the scout oath and scout law. <clears throat> we invite all scouts and scouters attending this worship service to join in prayer in a way that we hope all will find comfortable. On behalf of Troop 483, I invite us all to express thanks for the many blessings that God has given to us and ask for the wisdom and skills to carry out and enhance the scouting program. We hope this observance will be a positive experience for you. Please join me in the call to worship. Eternal God, breathe life into our singing, our praying, our speaking, 
our listening, our caring, that all these activities might become more than they are. In our worship, we reach out to you, O God, knowing that you have already called us your own. Amen. A scout is trustworthy. Trustworthiness means avoiding any sort of lies, large or small. When we say things that are false because we believe they'll make us look better or keep us out of trouble, we'll end up worse off than if we just spoke the truth from the start. Because you'll always know when you're lying to yourself, you'll never completely get away with a lie. Trustworthiness also means staying true to your word. Follow through with what you will say and people begin to take you more seriously. Personally, it was only when I committed and followed through that I was able to form truly meaningful relationships. If you stay trustworthy in your actions and words, good things are sure to follow. Think of the last commitment you didn't follow through on. Now reach out to that person. Let them know that you recognize you weren't able to keep your word in the past, but you'd like to make it up to them. Follow through on your next commitment and rebuild trust. A scout is loyal. Loyalty means being there for those who supported you. In life, you might encounter opportunities to get ahead by leaving behind those you've helped in the past. In making an effort to be loyal, you'll do everything in your power to be there for those who are with you. Not having loyalty could mean canceling plans with a friend in order to hang out with a cooler group, or leaving your scout troop right after earning Eagle. Maybe you're just avoiding responsibilities. In any case, not being loyal will cause you to lose trust with those you're closest to. Remain loyal, though and you build strong, long-lasting friendships for life. 
Think of an old friend that you haven't made an effort to speak to in a while. Shoot them a message saying that you're thinking of them and wanted to thank them for the good times you've shared. And then sincerely wish them well. Being loyal in your relationships will give your life more depth and meaning. As a mom has said, if you see the need, you do the deed. Being helpful means always looking for a way to, ways to contribute. One of the biggest indicators of your character is how hard you're willing to work when you're not being forced to. Trying to be more helpful and putting in the extra mile will clearly differentiate you from others. Do you ever see people standing around when others are working? Just talking to each other on the sidelines with their hands in their pockets? Resolve not to to be one of those bystanders. By going out of your way to help others whenever you see the need, you'll become a person of action. A scout is friendly. The superpower that all friendly people has the, is the ability to put those all around them at ease. By making a small effort to be friendly, you'll become more liked and respected by your peers. I'll let you in on a secret. The easiest way to be friendly is by greeting people at first. Your next step will be to simply take an interest in learning more about them. Or oh, admit it, I wasn't the most outwardly friendly person growing up. I have to felt shy and was bad with names. However, I re later realized that being friendly and relating to others was a muscle that needed to be constantly practiced in order to grow. After that, I always try to look others in the eyes, smile, and greet them by name. Good morning and welcome to Troop 43 Scout Sunday Service here at the Glendora United Methodist Church. My name is Dave Landers and I have had the privilege for four years to be the Scout Master for this troop of 50 plus boys. The troop has been sponsored by the church since 1954 and has produced 151 Eagle Scouts to date. I am proud that in the four years that I have been Scoutmaster that I have had the privilege of seeing 17 boys earn the rank of Eagle Scout and have five more in the wings ready to complete their requirements. We have had 10 of our Eagle Scouts receive the honor to march in the Rose Parade as a tournament troop member over the past three years. This troop is a boy-led troop and that gives the Scouts the chance to develop leadership skills in many areas and to have the chance to be successful at many things that they try. As a troop, we have also focused on the duty to God and have had 25 boys earn the religious medals for their denominations and have taken leads in district religious services at scout gatherings, at campouts, and in local community activities. This troop has a legacy of developing leaders in the boys that participate in the scouting program. And many have gone on to be in their community and taking those skills with them to become successful citizens in many things that they try. Many of them would say that their success and skills were learned through the scouting program. I want to thank the United Methodist Church for being the charter organization for this troop for these many years and the support that they have given us. And we hope that in 2021 we'll get back to actual scouting and not just doing virtual scouting like we've had to in this past year under this COVID um, reality we've been in. at the center of it all Jesus at the center of it all from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you Jesus 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 be the center of my life Jesus be the center of my life from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you Jesus Jesus, nothing else matters, nothing in this world will do. Jesus. 
Jesus, you're the center. Everything revolves around you, Jesus, you. Jesus, be the center of your church. Jesus, be the center of your church. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. Jesus, you're the center. Everything revolves around you. Jesus, you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. A scout is courteous. Courtesy is the way that you can show respect to others. Being courteous is important for being taken seriously, especially when dealing with adults. By taking the time to say please and thank you, as well as acknowledging what others have done for you, you demonstrate your appreciation and respect for the other person. If you're like me, you might have a few friends that you'd cringe to bring around your parents. These friends seem to have no filter and lack of sense of courtesy. If you know someone like that, resolve not to be the same way. Be courteous to every single person, and they'll extend that same respect back to you. Put it into action. The next time you see any workers that are typically unnoticed, such as janitors or bus drivers, give them a sincere thank you for the job that they're doing. A little kindness can go a long way. A scout is kind. Let me tell you, it's easy to be selfish, but hard to be forgiving. As a scout, kindness should be one of the main principles that you should work towards every single day. Being kind means trying to understand the feelings of others, then doing it, everything in your power to treat them as you'd want to be treated. A scout is obedient. Obedience means thoughtfully doing what you're told. Emphasis on thoughtfully. It's important to always try to do the right thing and not harm others. So don't follow any directions that you know to be wrong. However, any directions that you do follow should be done immediately and wholeheartedly. What I found personally is that obedience needs to come hand in hand with understanding. When I was a kid and thought something I was told to do was ridiculous, I would argue. Try your best to avoid talking back. If you feel the directions are unfair, I'd recommend calmly asking, I'm not quite sure I understand. Could you please explain to me why you're asking that? Every time you follow your parents' instructions without talking back, they gain a little bit more trust in you. Try to see how long you can go without complaining or talking back. 
The work will still be the same, but now they'll likely be much happier with you. A scout is cheerful. Remaining positive at all times is a mark of a truly wise person. Smiling often, joking around, and not taking problems too seriously will not only make you a more fun person to be around, it will also make your life more enjoyable. Always try to be cheerful and look for the silver lining. Believe it or not, your attitude is a choice. Try to make others happy. Being cheerful, even in difficult situations, will draw others to you and differentiate yourself as a leader. I have a personal saying. It's hard, good, keep going. It reminds me to take on the challenges with cheer and persistence. The next time you're getting frustrated, maybe something unfair happened, or you're just working on a difficult homework assignment, give yourself a moment to pause and take a breath. Smile, say, I got this. Know that this challenge will make you stronger, and then cheerfully start again. Your importance in our lives, O oh God, is reflected in our gifts. We return to you through the ministry and outreach of this church, a portion of all that you have entrusted to us. We promise that these offerings will not be the end of our giving. We also invest our time and abilities in your work of healing, comforting, teaching, guiding, and proclaiming good news. Bless each gift, whatever its size, and multiply the good to be done through our talents and treasure. Amen. Let us join in singing the doxology. Scout is thrifty. Being thrifty means being mindful of your resources, whether it is money, time, or possessions. A scout who is thrifty will not waste needlessly. This means not seeking out status by showing off your belongings and instead choosing things based on the value you'll get from them. The second part of being thrifty is planning for the future. I often ask myself, how will what I'm buying affect me in seven hours, seven days, seven weeks, seven years? It will only give me pleasure in the short term. It, is, it won't help me in the long term. It is likely not a thrifty decision. Isn't the absence of fear. It's doing the right thing in spite of being afraid. It's standing up for yourself and others, even when being criticized, mocked, or even hated. In the face of peer pressure, bravely sticking to your values is a true mark of courage. Like friendliness, bravery is a muscle that weakens without use, but can also strengthen without practice. That's why I always try to do what is right, even if it scares me. By pushing your boundaries every day, you'll be more prepared to make decisions and be brave at the times that matter most. Scouts clean. Being clean doesn't only mean that you should shower daily. Cleanliness extends to your thoughts and actions as well. By holding yourself and others to a high standard, you'll surround yourself with better people and reduce the amount of negativity in your life. I try to follow this principle by exercising at least four times a week. Keeping my home free to clutter and picking up any litter I come across. By also avoiding negative people or bad situations, you'll keep your life clean and meaningful. Once you'll make cleanliness a habit, good things will naturally come to you. And put it into action. Right after the service, go into your room and make your bed. Pick up anything on the floor and use the next few minutes to tidy up as much as possible. 
Just five minutes can put you on the right path to stay clean and motivated throughout the day. A scout is reverent. Reverence means belief in a higher power outside of yourself. Whether that power is an omnipotent God, a singular essence shared among all living beings, or something else entirely, one should stop to consider the mystery and beauty of their existence. This beauty will help us guide your decision and in decisions and inspire you to live more meaningfully. By respecting the beliefs of others and acknowledging that everything in the universe is uncertain, a sense of reverence provides you with perspective and meaning. Understand that one day you and everyone that you care about will die. Use this realization to deepen your relationships and feel more gratitude throughout each day of your life. Our scripture reading for today is from Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 2 through 9. Six days later, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and brought them to the top of a very high mountain where they were alone. He was transformed in front of them, and his clothes were amazingly bright, brighter than if they had been bleached white. Elijah and Moses appeared and were talking with Jesus. Peter reacted to all this by saying to Jesus, Rabbi, it's good we're here. Let's make them three shrines, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He said this because he didn't know how to respond, for the three of them were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice spoke from the cloud. This is my son, whom I dearly love. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them not to tell anyone what they had seen until after human one has risen from the dead. Today we want to recognize the scouts that have worked on the religious medal for scouting. This church and many churches uses the PRAY program as the means of Christian growth and discipleship. Today we want to take time to celebrate those who have fulfilled the requirement of the PRAY program and deserve recognition for their outstanding accomplishment. The Bible teaches us that Jesus grew and became strong. He was full of wisdom and God's blessings were upon him. Luke 2.40.
these scouts are following the example set by Jesus by seeking to grow in Christian faith and in service. The PRAY program requires young people to study scripture and then design service projects to put into action what they have learned. These scouts have helped with Grace Church holiday food boxes, with United Methodist of Glendora's Church uh, food drive and blood drive, and many other activities as well. The following scouts have earned this award for God in Church. Isaac Diaz, Gavin Hamilton, Jeremiah Flatch, Jonathan Meyer, Justin Parker, Nick Cadunian, Noah Edwards, Timothy Summelong, and Dylan Wilde have all completed the requirements and study and service for the God in Church Award. Each scout will be awarded a medal and a pin that recognizes their denomination. The scouts will be able to wear this award on their uniform at all formal events. Many of the scouts in our troop have earned this award, and you will see those on their uniform when you see them at Court of Honors, flag ceremonies, and other uh, activities. Congratulations to all of these scouts for a job well done. of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you've made every burning star a signal fire of praise if creation sings your praises so will I God of your promise you don't speak in empty or void. For once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. And as you speak, a hundred billion just catch your breath, evolving in pursuit of what you said. If it all reveals your nature, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you say. Every painted sky, a canvas of your grace. If creation still obeys you, so will I. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. If the mountains bow in reverence, so everything exists to lift you high, so will I. If the wind goes where 
Let us pray. We worship you, O God, with songs of praise. We worship you with words of prayer and with ears that listen for you to speak your saving truth into our lives. We worship you in the silent spaces where we struggle for hope and for courage. We long for a glimpse of your glory the glory that shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it, the glory that touches lives with a beauty so holy that it heals the wounded soul, the glory that gives strength to the weary. We who stumble and fall so often worship you longing for your light to shine upon us, dazzle us with your holy love, draw us into your purifying presence, speak to us your transforming truth. Then grant us grace to live every moment changed by such glory, daring to live with hope and courage and love, reflecting the life of Jesus, through whom your glory shines in the most unexpected ways. Thank you for loving each one of us and for hearing our prayers wherever we are. As we look to you, we pray our discipleship prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide. The ransom for my life, oh, he is my song. You are good, good, oh, you are good. my sails, the anchor in the waves, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days, oh, he is my song. You are good.
never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna. is holding on to me God is holding on when the night is holding on to me God is holding on And now in your journey, may the trail rise up to meet your stride. May the sun shine softly on your backpack. May the cool, clean waters carry your canoe safely to your next portage. May the wind bring warm blessings to your encampment. May the Spirit's peace be with you this day and forevermore. Amen.